Welcome back to another episode of the Electrician's 2 channel. Today, guys, we're going to do an extension of my first video I've done on the Fluke ST120 GFCI socket tester. So, what I'm going to do today is just do a comparison between uh, the Gardner and Brent Bender GFCI tester, the Klein, uh, Klein 2s, RT250 GFCI outlet tester, and again, the Fluke ST120 GFCI socket tester. <clears throat> now, I'm not sure that uh, y'all have seen uh, the garden, the garden bender one, or should I say, the ones that made like this one? They come in all, you know. You find them in different colors, made by different companies. Uh, some, some of them just be on the market, and you don't, you, it don't, it, it don't have a name on it. Who, who, uh, who manufactured it? These have been out for a long time. I would say for sure, uh, over two decades. Uh, they used to have, well, not used to. They still do. Uh, sell the ones that, that doesn't have the GFCI tester, this button here. It's just the plain ones uh, to show you if the outlet is, is wired correctly. Now, uh, before a lot of the, the a lot of the brand circuit analyzers came out, this is all we had to, besides a multimeter, but this is all we had to determine if an outlet was wired properly, unless you knew how to use a multimeter or some kind of um, a test, uh, instrument, electrical test instrument to check the outlet, you know, uh, ground, uh, hot to ground, hot to neutral, neutral to ground, just to check and see if you got, you know, the wires are reversed or what have you. Now, uh, Klein came out with this one, uh, I would say maybe over a year ago, if that, and um, that's their, GF, their version of a GFCI tester. They also have the ones that doesn't look like this one, but it functions the same. It's kind of, it, it doesn't have an LCD screen on it at all, but, uh, you know, it, it it's just a plane like this. Now, the shape of it, and I don't think it's made, uh, not quite like this, but no, nevertheless, it's, you know, just a plain um, uh, outlet tester. Now, this Fluke, uh, this is new to the market. Uh, you know, at least uh, I've just found out about it. It's, um, you know, something new in the United States. Fluke been, have been making these, but they sell them overseas. Uh, sell them and you'll see them being sold in places like the UK and other places. And the way it's shaped is more like an oval or like an octagon shape, uh, the ones they have. And, you know, there's a lot of t there's a lot of instruments that Fluke sell over in other countries, foreign countries, that they don't sell in the United States and vice versa. You know, they sell a lot of tools over here that they don't sell over there. So, uh, but this... Fluke, they've been making the outlet testers. They just haven't been making them for the United States. But instead of being um, a GFCI tester, uh, I think it's labeled as an RCD tester, which is almost like the same. It's basically the same thing. GFCI tester, RC te RCD tester over in, uh, you know, they, that's what their terminology of it over in uh, other countries. Now, guys, before I go any further, uh, you know, I'm going to ask you guys to, uh, to hit that like button hit that uh, subscribe button and leave a comment if you choose to. Uh, I'm asking you that because as I say in all my videos, I'm trying to, you know, I, you know, in, that's in support of the channel. And I'm not asking for no money. I'm just asking you, all of the things I'm asking you is for free. Everything that I'm showing you is for free. And it's just your way of showing your appreciation. Uh, and I show my appreciation from showing, you know, from displaying all this stuff, man, because I really like what I do. I hope that you know, uh, some of you guys are, uh, you know, learning from it. I hope it uh, is of some value to you guys or some of you, you know, um, your young electricians coming in the field, uh, coming into the electrical uh, uh, field. I hope that things that I do, uh, that you are, is, some is of some value to you. So hit that like button, subscribe, and comment. Again, it's for free. So let's move on with that. Uh, so I'm going to compare the three. And as you see, this is just uh, the Gartner Bender, basically just a plain old tester uh, with the three lights at the bottom. The Fluke, they have this digital LCD screen, but it also has a voltage tester in here where it displays the voltage up here. The, 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 um, the Klein, I mean, uh, the Fluke, 
the way the client has the uh, voltage displayed in, his, in the LCD screen. Now the Fluke, basically like this one, uh, but it's a little bit more fancier. And the feature, um, the 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 feature that they have, that the extra feature they have on this one is, they have an audible tone. You can either turn it on or turn it off. And I'll tell you what's what's beneficial about, excuse me, what's beneficial about having this uh, this this audible tone right here uh, about this one. Other than that, it's just a plain no tester, and it's made by Fluke. Now, the price of this thing, uh, this one, you may find it uh, all over. It may have been, like I said, it may not be this brand, but they're all are the same. And uh, you may even find it in your grocery store. That's how long these things been out. I know for sure you can find them in your dollar store. And um, you can find them in your hardware store, in Walmart, Target. You can find them all over. Decline, you may have to go to a, a, a big a big box, uh, uh, like a home improvement store probably to find this or get it online. Uh, eBay, Amazon, or go straight to clients. One of those places like that. The Fluke, uh, you, you get these from like... Um, Lowe's may have them. Lowe's have it, for sure. These are, um, they have them on the rack right now. There's two models of, that that's Fluke selling with these. They have of uh, this. They have the ones that's without the audible tone, and they have this one with the audible tone. The price of it, this one would be like twenty twenty dollars. Without it, something like fourteen. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna do it just like I said. I'm gonna do a comparison, and I'm going to. Uh, pick out the one that I think that I can use. Uh, I can use all of them, but very seldom do I, you know, even though I own these, very seldom do I pick up a, a GFCI tester to uh, use. I do keep them, I keep them with me all the time, but I do have some that's more advanced than these, and I use those, um, you know, a lot when I'm do when I get through doing uh, insulations to to check my branch circuits. So. With that being said, we're gonna move on to a little demonstration that uh, I got this this outlet right here hooked up right here, and uh, just, I'm gonna just do some. Uh, I'm gonna just do some uh, plugging it and plug these in here, and uh, let you see how they look, um, and tell you which one that I think uh, I can use. Put them in an the order that I would pick and and bring them with me. So let's start off with the the more basic one, which would be the um, which would be the Gartner and Bender. But I'm, I'm gonna leave the client. I mean, leave these two over here, and let's do this one first. So, all right. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me turn this off. I want you guys to see the two lights. Well, it's the two lights on here, which will be orange. And according to the diagram, I mean, uh, the chart up here, if the two lights are here, that, that means that it's wired correctly. And this is the bottom. So, but if it was an open ground, it'll have a yellow light. One of these middle, this middle light would turn yellow. And if it had a open neutral, the light on the end right here would turn yellow, but none of these won't be on. And um, open hot, all of these would be uh, naturally dead. Uh, let me see. Hot to ground reverse. If the polarity was reversed, it'll be red to come on. Uh, this would be white, and this would be yellow. And uh, if it would be hot, what is it? Hot, hot neutral reversed right here. It'll be red, yellow, and white. And naturally, right here is wired correctly. So it'll be this would be off, and this would be uh, according to this. It look, it's, it's on, it's lit up. It's lit up. Okay, so, um, so guys, that's, if you see, and that's all this has in. It won't trip because this is an AFCI um, um, receptacle, so that's why it won't trip. But I'm using this just to show you the functions of these uh, testers. As you see, that's, that's the Gartner and Bender. Now, the client, this client takes two. Let me push you back some so you guys can see. You're getting too close. All right. This client takes um, two um, AAA batteries to operate this one. So that's something that I don't like. But, you know, you 
I don't know how they could, I mean, why they couldn't make it work when you plug it in to get this screen to show using this, the, um, the, um, the electricity from the outlet to power this up, you know. But anyway, you need two AA batteries, AAA batteries to uh, power this up. Now, keep in mind, the only thing this, the only feature this has is just uh, as a tester, GFCI tester, and it gives you collect, uh, the correct polarity right here. And you just have the, and now they only have two lights, which is uh, a green and uh, red. And if the green comes on, it's tell you one green light, tell you it's good. The red comes on, there's a fault somewhere. And, and, it, and, it, and it tells you up in here what kind of fault you have. Open, neutral, reverse, whatever. And I like the little LCD display that's up here. I really do. And the, the way it looks. Now, also, here we go. Klein gives you, I don't know if you can see it. Klein gives you, that's the green light right here. And Klein gives you the voltage. And it tells you this wire correctly. Oh, that's nice. Because if you had to use this one, especially for a homeowner, uh, and even if you weren't a homeowner, you were you know, a seasoned vet that's out there and you didn't have your meter or your meter's in the truck, you, well, that, that's, that's an extra feature to let you know that this thing is wired correctly. Um, it got voltage. And, you know, it also tests GFCI. Like I say once before, that I can't use this, this GFCI tester because this is an AFCI receptacle. But other than that, this is, this is a real nice GFCI outlet tester right here. Uh, this is really nice. So, uh, by Klein. Now, this is the fluke. Here it is again, telling you that the, uh, it's wired correctly. And if it wasn't wired correctly, or some, some kind of, it had some kind of fault, as you see the two green lights right here, according to this, they mean it's correct. Uh, but the open ground, this would have been off, that would have been off, and it would have been lit, it would have been, only this light here in the middle would have been green, and it would have told you that it was an open ground. Now, the third line right here say open neutral. That means these two would have been off, and this one would have been lit by itself. It would have been looking like, uh, basically like that. You know, suppose these two was off that, like that. Now, it's open hot. Well, naturally, it's going to be, all of these won't be on at all, because there's no power. Uh... Uh, hot, neutral, reversed. Okay, this would have been red, this would have been green, and this would have been off right here. And hot, ground, reversed. This would have been red, this would have been off, and this would have been green. Now, this is the audible tone I was telling you guys, you know, about. Now, this is a feature that you can use if, for example, for a homeowner, if you don't have all the necessary tools that you need, like a circuit, a circuit breaker finder, and um, you know, you're looking for a certain breaker and it's not labeled and is in your home or in a home, in a garage or whatever. Well, you can turn this on like this, turn it on like that. And once you get to the breaker, you know, hit, hit the breaker till you find it. Well, just, well, there you go. You know, that's the breaker. Well, that's a good feature. You know, that's, that's a good feature, but uh, you know, that's the only, feature besides this GFCI tester, um, you know, that's, that's okay. Now, out of the two, the client has, it doesn't make that noise, you know, doesn't make that noise, but they have features on here that I really can use. You know, that's, I would say, an asset would be the voltage reading up here, uh, when it shows you the voltage, uh, it tells you the open ground neutral, what have you, and you know it has all everything that it has here with the you know like except, except it tells you the voltage and that's a plus that's a plus so what you basically carrying around with you is a it's a real small multimeter you know it, it does just basic testing but as far as the voltage but you're carrying around a multimeter and i can use this I, even though i don't like the fact that you have batteries that gotta keep you know replace the batteries in here but that's okay too because you do have an on on and off button that's right here, and you have automatic power off because it just went off. I don't know how long it stays on, maybe a minute or two minutes, ten two minutes. Uh, but you know if it's not being used uh, at all or I don't sense any voltage going voltage going through here, it turns itself off. That's a plus. This one doesn't take anything. It uses the power, the electricity that's inside the socket, and that's a good thing too. But 
this is just a basic, this is just a, uh, let me show you. This is just one of these on steroids. Fancy looking, that's all. This just look fancy, but it's the same thing uh, as this one. So out of all of the three, I mean, out of these three, if I had to pick one naturally, it, it'd be this one. The Klein would be my first choice out of these three, and then I'll pick the Fluke, and then I'll pick, uh, I'll, I'll pick the, uh, sorry, I'll pick the Klein, then I'll pick the, the Fluke, and then I'll, if I had to, then I'll pick uh, the Gardner and Bender. Uh, so, uh, let me see what else. Also, this is, uh, let me see, they have some features on this here, on this one, but it's just basic features tell you that it's rated for, this is the client I'm talking about, guys. Uh, it's telling you about it's rated for one, 110 volts uh, to 125 volts AC at 6 milliamps, fre uh, frequency 50 to 60 hertz, GFCI tester, yes, off and on audible tone, yeah, we see up and over that. You have uh, indicator lights, we know that up there, yep, and you have... Uh, let me see. Rating says 300 volt Cat 3. And it's a safety agency approval, ETL, and a warranty for two years. So, uh, and it was, let me see, 9 2020. This came out in September 2020, according to this right here. It came out in September 2020. That's a stamp on, I guess, when it was made. But anyway, uh, uh, anyway, it's. Um, I mean, I do like it. I do like it. Um, but the Klein is uh, the better one to me. And, you know, that's why I would pick the Klein. So, guys, uh, I want to thank you for letting me take up all your time. You know, and uh, I, again, I ask you to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment. If you have any questions about this or you just want to, you know, any kind of comment about any one of these instruments, uh, you know, we'll talk twos. So you guys take care. As always, peace out until the next video. I still have some more videos coming, guys, that I have to get around to. I've just been so busy. Uh, as I say once before, since they uh, lifted all the restrictions, uh, the COVID restrictions, the, 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 the state has opened back up again, and business has picked up. And, man, I tell you, I am, I'm busy, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm busy. So, uh, you know, uh, but I still have some videos coming that I think you guys will be interested in. So, uh, you know, I hope you look forward. I hope you'll be looking forward to that. Stay tuned. And um, again, until next time, peace out.